Okay, uh, we're now on the menu a la carte page. That's the page that I mentioned that's got those special features. So when you go on to desserts, it'll click um, desserts, entrees. It'll show you the entrees that you'll be serving, the mains, um, pasta, etc. Okay, so to make pa pages on this particular to make changes on this particular page, we go to Mazzaro Dashboard. And then you click on Food. So you've got Food, Food, Add New, Food Categories. So this is everything that's been listed on the menu and um, set up in its own categories. So, for example, if we go to food categories, it will show you that these are the food categories that have been set up in the vertical navigational bar on the right. So, you've got foods, appetizers, bread, coffee, and tea. So, if you want to make a change on any one of these categories, you just go to edit. And we'll turn coffee and tea so it's um, spelt out. The slug is coffee tea and the parent is foods. So we update that. And you'll find that it now reads coffee and tea. Actually, it would be good to make the tea a capital, capital T. So I'll make that capital T, update, and that's done. So that's how you change that. And to add a new category, we'll just go to name, I'll just place it as um, new food example and we'll go to foods and add new category and then you've got it here new food example so we can click um, apply and I'll take a look on the page to see how it how it looks. We'll go to a la carte. Great, it doesn't quite include it in there, but it shows you how to set up that uh, new category. So we'll go back. And to remove it, it's quite straightforward. So new food example, we can um, click on it there and just go bulk action, delete. Oh, apply, that would help. So the new category that I've just added I've deleted it and as you can see now it's nowhere to be seen. So that's sorted which is good. Okay so we go to, after showing you where the categories are, so to view the current menu items click on foods to add new item to the menu. So let's see add new Right, I don't want to add new just yet, but we'll go into food. And here we have the selection of all the different foods that are mentioned in that uh, menu. So let's go to STEM Greens, edit. So this is how you would make a change. 
stem greens. Whenever, if you make a change here at all, make sure you edit this as well so it's the same as the heading. So the description you have is with le lemon olive oil. Stem greens. So I'll turn it, I'll make it read um, fresh, organic, stemmed greens served with le lemon olive oil. So that's where I would make the change. It's without sidebar. So that's selected and the price is $7 so this is where you would make the price change. We then go, oh and also make sure that it's side dishes, side dishes is selected. That's the food category for your steamed greens. So update. That's still saving. It's taking a little bit of time. Great, that's done now. So we'll go back to the main page. I'll just refresh it. And if we go to side dishes, there you go. Steam greens, fresh organic steam greens served with lemon olive oil. I showed you where the price was and that's where you would make the price change. Um, so going back to that section, we'll go to food categories. And this shows champagne and sparkling, Riesling. I'm not sure, but a wine list. I'll try and add. I'll add red wine and see see what happens. Red wine foods as the parent. That's the uh, the main category. I might put it under wine list and add new category. So we have red wine dash dash, which means it's a subcategory sub of wine list. Um, we'll go back to food. And what I'll do here is add, add new food, but in this instance I would call it red wine merlot as an example um, and call it Margaret River red wine. And the category that I would choose would be wine list and red wine. And the price I would put an example price of um, zero, 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 or actually let's make it 50. and publish and I'll publish that just to see what happens where it, where it actually shows